Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then remember, once we get the cameras together, so once we get the cameras out the way, we're gonna have everybody come forward, okay? Hey, what's happening, y'all? How y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing? My name is Michael. I saw this thing, I might get these shades on. I go by the name J. Dix, aka Chef Dix, the world's first rapper chef, and yes, he did. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all, there's a lot of dudes out there that cook, there's a lot of dudes out there that rap. Bang, none of them are the world's first rapper chef. <laughs> now today, um, you know, y'all see this granny's beard. So what we gonna do is, you know, I got a collab with my boy Barbados. Seen him on the scene a couple times, and when I be out and about, young little generation, I love to hit him up, and do a little song with him, see if we can make something pop. Let him see if we can make something pop. Go ahead, man. Yeah. This is called VIP. VIP. Produced by James Webb. 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 Everybody say what? Well. <laughs> yeah, it's your boy, man. Going to jump around, not smooth. You say you just want to play with me. I'm off the way to never hear you say. I'll take you down and I'll be out of here. I'm going to 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 be out of here. You're down to come through Just might make your dreams come true She dreamed in the sandy beaches in warm weather Told her anything can happen if we bond together She sipping on that fine, I'm in the cloudy haze Put them records on, Frankie B and Maze We about to kick back down in the VIP So you going places, if you grow with me You can stay a couple days, you play your cards right Just know, we go party to the daylight you ain't never been no play like me before. I blow your mind. Very important person. Or I can grab the car. Let's shoot a spence of purses. I can't get for that. That's right. Hey. 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 That's right. Hey. 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 Never disrespect you, treat you like a lady. Rash shotgun, Bonnie to my damn plaque. Information protected, you trust me, baby. Successful is all I want to make it, baby. One night can turn into five years. A house, a car, and a couple little badass kids. Just one night turns into a lifetime. Texting me like, smart, funny, and sexy. I fucks with you, baby. What you sipping now? That's right, that's how you collab with You know, old school. Me the I know, I like the Pittsburgh Journal of Murder, this rap shit. That's right. Do whatever you want to do. That's right. Let me know if you're down to come through. Just like make your dreams come true. That's right. Break down. Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> it's your boy, man. Yeah. Got more babies right now. Now we do it. Uh, yeah. That's right. We're just riding up tight, man. We're just about to ride. I don't really bounce around that much no more. That's right. Well, I think I got a fetish for you. I might do whatever you want to do. Let me know if you're down to come through. Just like make your dreams come true. That's right. Well, I think I got a fetish for you. I might do whatever you want to do. Let me know if you're down to come through. Just like make your dreams come true. That's right. Well, I think I got a fetish for you. I might do whatever you want to do. Let me know if you're down to come through. Just like make your dreams come true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Big up to Jay Webb. Yeah, shout out to Jay Webb. He was just that beat too, so he knows he just, hey, it goes full circle. Yeah, yeah. So I've seen your your stuff, man. First of all, your food be looking crazy good, bro. <laughs> Every time, yo, sometimes I want to follow you because you make me mad hungry, bro. But, <laughs> yo, listen, listen. If you guys don't follow him, you know what I'm saying? You guys want to try something scrumptious? Definitely follow my man. Because my man be doing it big, you know what I mean, with the food. Or my model is, if you're paying off the land, I'll let you do it. I'll be at your crib. Hey, <laughs> let's go. I'm 35. I love that. <laughs> but more on a music tip, bro, um, yeah. the fact that you are rapping, Chef. I've heard songs where you rap about food and stuff like that. And it's just, as a matter of fact, that's when I first heard you. Mm -hmm. I heard you rapping, you was rapping to a beat and you was rapping food and the wordplay was crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What what, what kind of got you to incorporating that into the music? Um, the rap, the, the food and the rap. If I'm not mistaken, my one jam, um, Chef Dick's on Bad. That's the one, that's the one. Yeah. He was in the studio that night when yeah. I got that record. Yeah. We were um, But what got me there is, you know, when the whole rapping Chef persona started hitting me. And you know I'm rapping, you know I'm busting. Like, I got bars, but I'm sitting there like, Jay, you know, you gotta mix the personality in with the flow, so. Right. I don't like to do karaoke, but the only karaoke song I like is El Cool J, I'm Bad. Okay. And one day I was chilling with my man and he looked at me and he was like, man, you would kill this. Yeah. And that's all he had to say. You know, somebody say something to you. <laughs> yep. He would kill this. And then that's where Chef Dick, so it's basically a cover song. That's where that came from. You know, yeah. I got Gangsta Chef, I got Cook It Up, a little party record, you know. Which is dope. You know, just, just got to have a little fun with it. You know, uh, music is creativity. It's an art form. Mm -hmm. So whatever comes out your pores, you, they might not understand it at first, but if you just keep knocking them in the head with it, they get it, and if they don't get it, man, fuck them. See, see y'all yeah. caught on to the marketing? Y'all caught on to the marketing? Yeah. <laughs> on point with it, man, on point with it. Um, and then one last question about the music, man. What What is it about music that makes you passionate? Um, I say, because even, you know, music been around me since the birth. Like, my mom's was a heavy 
um, 80s R&B, 70s soul music player. So I tell people in my house every day it was breakfast, lunch, and Luther Van. I mean breakfast, eggs, and Luther Van Jones. My mom's, you know, my mom's, she gave me a good foundation in music. And when I got to Pittsburgh and started going around in the circles, Got hit to the um, shout out to the button pusher. Got hit to the hip hop yeah. buffets. Okay, and when I start seeing, you know, a lot of different acts in the cities, and I'm standing in the crowd, you know, the first couple months, and I'm just like, I got some flow. Yeah. Got some yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need to rap about my life. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, like, you know, you just if, if it's in you, like, I, I, I always tell people, I started late. Like, I ain't never had no musical training. I, I, I was in the band, I was in fifth, sixth grade, and then like, I think I got into it with the band director and he kicked me out. So <laughs> it was a wrap, I ain't play band no more. My mom's wouldn't let me uh, practice the saxophone. Cut that shit out, be loud. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was about 25 and I met a dude that actually had got a distribution deal. And in a matter of months, next thing I know, I was in, in Chicago and I was this hype man on stage because I knew it was music. Yeah. And I'm just sitting here like, Yo, this is real? I'm like, you. this is real? Like, hold on, this dude, you was just, you know, you in the attic chilling, writing songs in a notebook. And next thing I know, we in the car and yeah, that's <laughs> dope, bro. you doing a performance in Chicago. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and that day, JD was born. You know, it took me about two years to get my flow up done. It took me about two years, but. Now, you know, I'll let your boy, I got a little sauce on for you. Shout out to you, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> So, uh, you got anything coming up? Any projects dropping? Any shows coming up? Any uh, foreign shows? You know, y'all actually got me out the house. If y'all know, man, I'll be in the crib. <laughs> I know. I'll be in the crib working. And if I didn't, you know, <laughs> bless you and let you come to the crib, you know why I'm up in there. I'm chilling. I'm nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, coming up, as far as um, next, on the 17th, as far as on some cooking aspect, I know on the Hill District, they're doing a bike ride that I'm on. I'm pulling the munchie machine out. You know, gourmet hot dogs from Boy J Dix. I'm gonna be doing it there. But as far as on the music tip, um, you know, Teddy Bear Dix is on the way. Like I said, as you grow, <laughs> as you grow you. in this music, you know, you gotta evolve. And you know, I've been spitting, I've been rapping, but now I want to give the world some R&B. You know, they got hip hop and R&B. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, yeah. trying to give them some R&B and hip hop. You know, the J Dix way. So Teddy Bear Dix is on the way. First off, I'm um, I'm gonna drop on uh, my China distribution company probably about two months around September, my birthday. Um, I'm releasing singles one by one, but I'm gonna drop the whole project. So, no, I, no, 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 I'm gonna drop the whole project for Valentine's Day, okay. February 14th. So February hey, we're 14th, done. Drop the whole project. Throughout these next couple months, I'm gonna get y'all a couple singles, but you know, China will get it first. I'm gonna drop it across the world first, then I'm gonna give it to you guys. Right. Shout, Shout out, out to you, bro. Right you gonna do any videos for for the projects? Cause your videos be tripping me out, boy. <laughs> hey, I just be trying to have fun. I be on like this you, minimal of a budget. You just gotta have. I, yo, I'm a little eclectic. With it. I'm a little eclectic, y'all. So even when it comes to these videos, you just gotta have fun. And yeah, I'm, you know, yeah. hey, if there's somebody out there, you know, they got a camera and they got imagination, come out at your boy, man. We can definitely get something popping. I got a studio dude in my attic. We can make it happen. I got a whole crib, man. My whole crib is 1403. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. But every time I'm trying to get something else. Oh, you, oh, you like that Ike Dixon, the last one. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I put some wigs on them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. got creative. Stuff, it's nothing, you know? <laughs> Characters, you know? It's made to memory. You already know. You already know. Now, give everybody your, uh, yeah. your social medias. Hey, everywhere you can hit me up at um, J Dix Music. Chef Dix, world's first rapping chef. If you Google me, you type in J Dix, I'm gonna pop up. Somebody else pop up, holla at me, man. I'm like that nigga. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo. Make some noise again for J Dix, y'all. Yeah. 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 J Dix music, Chef Dix 1403. Holla at you, boy. You know, Find him on left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, look. Yeah. You know what's funny? I was sitting over there. Look, y'all, real right. I guess this money around Pittsburgh. I do not play. I got like 13 hustles. I don't know how to do it myself. But I was sitting there and I said, I drove her before. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop her, but I know what you live at. I know. Yeah. <laughs> And I know you got those cousins too. Because of that conversation. Look, I'm cool. I'm very um, personable. I'll be, I'm, at this point in the game, y'all probably driven like 41, uh, 4,100 4, rides around Pittsburgh. So if y'all do a man, that's two people, three people, four people. I talk to thousands of people. And that's the side hustle. 
I can get in the car and I just talk to thousands of people. That's why I was sitting there like, I drove her before. I have drove her home before. And, that, and they're related just from that conversation. But you know, y'all don't be scared to talk to people. When I was coming up, they used to say, don't get in the car with strangers. Don't talk to strangers. What we do now? We have a stranger come to our door and pick us up and put our kids in the car. I didn't want to pick up people's kids and took them to school. Like, damn, this is a different time. You safe with me. You know what I'm saying? You cool with me. Damn, this is a different time. Yo, for real, what's in that lunchbox? <laughs> Thanks again, bro. Make some noise, y'all.